Good morning, boys and girls. Like you know before, I've been working with the easel and being able to show you some of the work that we're going to be doing um, that I sent in the yellow envelope. So we just finished the video on the CVC words where you had to cut out some of the letters, you had to trace the letters, you had to paste the ones that you cut out, and that's a fun activity for you for CVC words. In this case, we're going to be doing math word problems, and this one has to do with addition. It's a little different on the pictures, and it has less steps, but it's kind of fun to be doing it. So I'm going to use this side of the easel, and I'm going to stick with tape this worksheet that you see here. Okay? Now, I don't want to put it too close because then you'll tend to copy and copycat is not a good thing for me. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person who likes people copycatting. I like things to be normal and natural. So just learn that you're going to need somebody to read to you if you don't know how to read. But if you don't know how to read, like Jazara, like Christian and maybe Jason, then this is something that you probably will do. This is the top part. And in the top part, it gives you the story or what you have and what you're going to be asked to do. It says, I have five erasers and I have five markers. How many do I have in all? That's telling you. In all means I'm going to add. So I'm going to do an equation where I'm going to be putting a plus sign. Now, in little tiny letters here, it says, look at the picture to solve the problem. So I'm going to look at the picture. I have one, two, three, four, five erasers, like it says. And I have one, two, three, four, five markers, like they said. Well, if I go down, it says, write the equation. So the only step that I have to do is read. The next step is look. And the last one is to do the equation. It's very different from the other worksheets that I did give, give you before. So here we go. So I have five erasers. Short neck, belly fat, number five, where's the hat? Now, it's how many do I have in all? So I need to put a plus sign like this in that little tiny circle. In this rectangle, I'm going to write have five erasers and five markers. So short neck, belly fat, number five, where's the hat? That is a five for the markers. So I have five erasers plus five markers equals how many in all? Can't hear you. Hmm. If you don't know, count all the pictures. I have five and five. Five plus five equals ten. So done. You run and one is done and make an oval for the zero. Okay, and that is the answer to that word problem. But that's not the only word problem that I have. So I have another one here. Okay, and so I put this to the side because I can reach closer to here than it is to over here. That's why I did it. All right, so now we have a very interesting situation here. This one has no erasers or markers, but it does have a little story that tells you the problem and then you have to look and then you have to make the equation. So here we go. I have six glue bottles, here they go, and five scissors. How many do I have in all? When it says in all, that means addition. That's what it means. So now it says look at the picture to solve the problem. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six bottles of glue, and I have one, two, three, four, five scissors. So now I need to write the equation. So how do you write it? You look at the first number. The first number is six. So here we go. Around and around in a circle you go. 
one, that's a six, just as you know. Now I'm going to write the plus sign because I'm putting them together. I'm adding. So that plus sign goes right there. So six plus, now I need to find how many scissors? Five. So short neck, belly fat, number five wears a hat. Now it says six plus five equals, and I need to know how many are there in all, in all. So I have to put this all together. If you don't know, then count the pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven is the answer. Down you run and one is done. Down you run and one is done again. And that is the solving problem of your uh, word problem for math today. Now, in the other video, I told you that we needed to finish um, a CVC Word worksheet. You remember this one? You might get some of these. So the words are already in the bottom, but you have a dotted line, so you need to cut that off. And then you're going to cut these letters and paste them here. But you still have to trace these words for the letter Z. Zap, zig, as in zigzag, and zip, as in zipper. Okay? So these are activities that you can do at home as well as math word problems. If you have any questions, just text me or send me an email. All right, boys and girls, it's already done. If you need to eat a snack, go eat one. If you're going to eat lunch, enjoy your lunch, but wash hands. I mean, wet hands, add soap, wash, and scrub. Rinse and dry so that you can eat your food with your hands clean. If you're eating breakfast, then you have to do the same thing. Wet hands, add soap, scrub, rinse, and dry. Have a great day and enjoy this beautiful weather. Bye.